In our continuing series on Medical Monday with the doctors at Moffitt Cancer Center, today we're talking about the immune system. Dr. Michael Jane is the medical director for the Department of Blood and Marrow Transplant and Cellular Therapy. Welcome, good to have you. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, this is a, a very important topic because when we're talking about the immune system and cancer, so how does the immune system work to help fight cancer? So this is one of the really fascinating things that's been learned in the past 10 years about cancer, which is that as we get older, we're all getting new mutations that might turn into cancer all the time. And it's our immune system that recognizes this, does tumor surveillance, and gets rid of these mutated cells. So why does cancer ever happen? Well, it has to happen that the cancer learns or somehow figures out how to hide or evade our immune systems and then the cancer can grow. Mm -hmm. So using this as a therapeutic, we've learned, well, these immune cells are really good at knowing what cancer is and possibly fighting it. So by leveraging those cells and taking them and sometimes genetically engineering them or turning them into therapeutics, this is the next wave of how we can treat and potentially cure cancers. This might be a silly question, but it popped into my head as you're talking about this. Is then a weak immune system, is that make it more susceptible to develop? cancer is a disease? Yes, yeah, so we know that some patients who are, for example, immunosuppressed because of the treatments that they get or for other reasons, they may be more susceptible to certain types of cancer. Okay. But I always like to tell my patients that the immune system is not one thing. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like saying the internet. It's many, many things all, all in different ways and it's hard to exactly measure what makes an, a weak immune system. So even if I think, hey, I get colds all the time, that may not be the type of immune system that's a problem for in terms of getting cancer. Got it. It may be that you actually have a good immune system in, in many other ways. All right, I just wanted to clarify that just a little bit, so I understood it too. What are the differences then between CAR-T and TIL therapy? Yeah, so both are very exciting new therapies to treat cancers. So CAR-T cell therapy um, takes cells from your blood. So these T cells are supposed to be the ones that are going around and getting rid of our cancers. But as I mentioned, the cancer somehow is uh, hiding from or fighting off these cancers. So what we do in CAR T cell therapy is we take these T cells from the blood and then they're genetically engineered to have something in the T cell called a CAR. And that R, the R in CAR stands for receptor, meaning that when we take a patient's T cells and we engineer this CAR into it, now they have a way of seeing the tumor. And so we put these uh, CAR T cells back into the patient and they go to the tumor and they get rid of them where they are. So that's CAR T cell therapy, okay. genetically engineered. That's mostly used in hematologic cancers like lymphomas or leukemias. But for solid tumors, we haven't really gotten that to work yet. So there's a different approach called TIL therapy, and TIL stands for tumor infiltrating lymphocytes. So this is really interesting. When you take out someone's tumor, you can actually see some of these immune cells trying their best to get rid of the cancer that's there. But they're a little bit ineffective. Perhaps maybe there's not enough of them or they're just not activated enough. So in this TIL therapy, what happens is a surgeon will remove part of the tumor, and then we're able to take out those uh, anti-tumor immune cells that there's just not enough of, grow them up in the lab, activate them a little bit more, and then reinfuse them back into the patient, and they know what to do to try and get rid of uh, the tumor. So this has just been FDA approved for people who have metastatic melanoma, for example, um, and we're trying it in a whole host of other uh, solid tumors, like lung cancers and other cancers. So we're very excited about using immune cells to try and rid people of the cancers that are afflicting them. That's incredible, yeah. yeah. So Moffitt is one of the largest and most active blood and marrow transplant and cellular immunotherapy programs of its kind in the Southeast. And patients really, you know, they would want to visit you for any kind of treatment. If they're listening to this now, if they know someone one, how can they make an appointment with you? Yeah, absolutely. We're really easy to find. So if you go to the Moffitt website, moffitt.org, there's ways to uh, get in to see us. Um, your local oncologist or family doctor can also make a referral and help with that process. Um, but probably the easiest way is just to call the phone number for Moffitt and then they'll help navigate you to make sure that you get to see the expert uh, that you need to see. Great. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. It was good to see you. Well, thank you very much.